Not knowing our financial situation is a quite stressful situation. Well, if we are not tracking our financial data, we don't know how much is coming in, how much we are spending. We don't know if we are actually saving money. So maybe we are spending more than we are earning. And we don't wanna go back to live with our parents, right? So let me show you how I manage my finances using Notion in a very simple system. So let's get into it. Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Daniel, founder of the Notion Academy before I was an engineer. And in this channel, we use Notion and other tools and strategies to free up our time and gain control of our lives. Okay, so let's jump into Notion. This is my finance Notion system. I have put these numbers as reference. And as you can see, it's a very simple system. I have seen other systems and they create a lot of different categories and so on but I don't like to do it that way because in my mind, this will create an unnecessary friction whenever I'm inputting data. So I'm just keeping it very, very simple. So first of all, what I'm gonna be tracking. Here we have three different columns. The first one is my income, that this all comes through my Notion business, my consulting and other online courses that I'm part of. The next one is my business expenses, so everything that is related to my business, and this also includes online courses, online communities, the gear that I use for making these videos and so on, and then my monthly living expenses. And I have chosen to separate my business expenses from my living expenses so I can better know if my business is being profitable by itself or not, so I can be a little bit more granular with my data. So let, let's show you around. Here you can see that we have three databases. The first one is the money movements. I'm gonna be using this database only to input my money movements, as the title says. Now I have every entry linked to the month that the entry is part of. And for some of the entries, I'm also tagging which business is this part of. These are other online courses that I'm working on. And this is the Notion Academy. Why am I using this? Because for example, in the Notion Academy, here in the bottom part, I have the finances for 2020 and for 2021. And this is very easy to do with this filter over here. Now, another thing to note is that every month is also linked to a year within the years database. So using this rollup, I can also see which year this entry is part of using this rollup over here. And the same with the month date. This is a rollup from the month database. So when do I input all this data? For the income, right in the moment that the money comes into my PayPal or Stripe or whatever, when the money is within my control, is whenever I input it into my database. About the expense, exactly the same. Whenever I make the purchase, I come here and write the expense. But for the monthly living expenses, the system is a little bit different. As we can see, and we will talk about it in the, in the end of this video, Notion is not very good for fast input. So if every time that I'm out, like eating in a restaurant or buying some groceries and stuff, I have to pull this uh, dashboard from Notion and input in all the monthly expenses that I'm actually spending, this will be a little bit of a torture. So for this, I'm using a third party app that I will explain in the end of the video. And what I'm doing here is by the end of each month, I copy, which is the total expenses that I have for the current month. So I will just have one entry per month. So now on the right side of this dashboard, here we can see the annual reports. So we have for 2020 and for 2021. So here in the months, we can see all the numbers. Again, <laughs> these are fake numbers from every month. And it's sorted from Z to A. Okay, and here I'm calculating different things. Everything is done with rollups and with formulas. So first is the business income and the business expenses. And this is just calculated by the income relation with this property over here and calculating the sum of all the entries. And the same for the business expenses. And then yes, with this formula, I'm adding both. Now I include also the living expenses and then calculate the business profits minus the living expenses. And this is the net profit that I had taking into account also my living expenses. So in summary, what I have been able to save that month. 
So we also have here the years and as you can see all the months are linked to the year. So therefore I can use rollups to calculate which has been the average business profit. So this is going to be the average of this column and using the rollup it will look this way with calculating the average and the same for the monthly net profit. So this is how much on average I have saved every month. And this is very easy to filter because we can just filter by the year in both cases. And the same for 2021. The only difference is that I am just filtering for 2021. This is done manually, but you just have to do it one time per year. So it's not a problem. So as you can see, this is a very simple system that I use, but there is some downsides and some upsides of using this system. So let's talk about those. So the main downside is that, as I said before, Notion is not very agile in inputting information. And that's why I recommend using a third-party app that you can install in your phone. And for example, in my home screen, I have a button with a minus that I just hit and I input the expense that I have just done. And that is way faster than using Notion. And then, as I said before, at the end of the month, I will input the final number of what I have spent in that month into my Notion system. The app that I'm using right now is called One Money, which is for Android. But if you're on iPhone, I would recommend Money Manager Expense and Budget. Both work fantastic. And now, which are the pros of using Notion? You can categorize everything, and by using filters, you can pull that data wherever you want. For example, as I do with the Notion Academy, I can just pull the financials that are from the Notion Academy. And then another pro is that you can cross-reference your financial data with all your life data. This is where things become very interesting because for example, you can do things such as uh, seeing your habit frequency versus the money that you have made that month and see if you can find any relation because maybe sticking to your habits will help you to earn more money. And you can extrapolate this to everything that you're currently tracking in Notion. So if you like also simple systems such as this one, I have also created a very simple CRM that helps me know when do I need to talk to any of my friends that I wanna keep relationships with so they don't forget about me. So I will link this video over here so you can go there and watch it. So that is it for this video. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this system, what would you add, what would you don't use from the system. And as always, hasta la próxima.